yeah. Look, a treasure chest. Why don't we crack it open? Form. Feel your Who true you? form. This is that place from earlier. What's up with this app? Just said the word Sakamoto said, and I ended up... Princess? Huh? Princess! <laughs> Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A uh, what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. 
Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? That's what you think of me? You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yes, a uh, skull. This is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows. Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it. We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. Damn it. something. This is the intruder. Kamoshida? Who's that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the... Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! Shit. <laughs> the girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like... totally unforgivable. In that case... 
She should be executed. <laughs> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is effed up. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Hey, that's... Takamaki! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh... Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! <laughs> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. I'll start with the clothes. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Takamaki! <laughs> Is this... my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio... I'm so sorry. Huh? You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me? What was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and... Shut up! I've had enough of this. You pissed me off, you son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. <laughs> Tell me. Who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with me. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right. No more holding back. <laughs> there you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. <laughs> you know what? I'm not some cheap girl you can toy with. Come back. Bitch! You stole everything from Shiho. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! Oh!
dare you deny King Kaboshida's love, you selfish lass! Pay for this insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit! Come on, Carmen! Let's give him hell! Persona! Damn, Carmen! You did it! They've fallen flat! That won't work right now. Persona! Ravage now! Persona! Come here, man. And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? H huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? How can you expect me to be calm? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up, and you had to go and get in the way. Ugh, fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Mm, thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, are you okay? Well... Pretty much. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now, but a lot sure did happen back there. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. Which one you want? Whichever's not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then... Here you go. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um... Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. <sighs> this feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. 
Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power... My persona... It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Don't worry. I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, right. She can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, fine. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake. But for everything he's done, I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. A group like yours must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others and the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends, and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world.
Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. <laughs> That's it for today. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over at that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. Place. Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you? I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? Not my problem. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no go. Though, I guess you might stay on. Good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine, but keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not gonna take care of it. That's all on you. Is that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh, I was hoping I'd get to name it. Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take. Due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature, I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. 
Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? messages to each other with that thing, right? I want in too. So, I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me.
that's not good. I see. Are you listening? Pay attention! Looks like we're all here. Okay, let's get going. Hold on, it's still too early for us to head to the palace. But why? Don't we just gotta steal that treasure thing? Don't underestimate the dangers of that place. We need to prepare. Ain't that persona shit we got enough to deal with it? That's exactly what I mean when I say don't underestimate it. You'll die if you mess up in there. So again, we need to prepare before we head in. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? I'm glad you asked, Lady On. First, we'll need to find better equipment for all of you. You talking about weapons? Oh, I know a kick-ass place. In that case, you can handle that side of things. The only other thing would be stocking up on medicine. Fatigue is unavoidable in a palace. And where can we get medicine? Don't worry, I know just the place. I hope you look forward to it, Lady On. Now then, he and I have some business in Yongen, so let's head off for today. Just come with me. I won't be able to get close enough by myself. Can I talk? Actually... the clinic that the chief mentioned. Now, how can we get them to give us some medicine? How do you expect normal people to understand what a palace is? This is the clinic that the chief mentioned. Well, I guess that's the only choice we have. We'll just have to go for it. All right. Let's step inside.
Well... Please head to the exam room. In a case like yours, it's usually just due to stress. I'm gonna prescribe you some pain relievers, okay? Actually, I still need to restock those. So let's go with sleeping pills instead. Sleep is the best medicine anyway. Which type of pill do you want? A sweet tasting one or a bitter one? You're the patient here, you know. Do you think you should be telling me how to do my job? So, it's just like I thought. You're not sick at all, are you? I'm not as dumb as I look, you know. I'm guessing you're here because you heard the rumors about me, hmm? Who's to say? But as a result, all I get are patients with ulterior motives now. I guess high school kids have it tough nowadays too, huh? Well, fine. I'll prescribe you some medication. But only medication that will help you recover your health. I guess it's fine. You seem pretty earnest. And you don't look like you'll be any trouble. This is my private practice. All the medicine I dispense is original. I have a license to make my own formulas. You've likely seen them being sold at various hospitals. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself. So, if that's okay with you, stop by any time. Great, it's nice that you're so quick on the uptake. Saves me the hassle. You're a pretty weird kid, you know? I wonder what you're going to use the medicine for. Well, as long as you don't cause me any trouble, it's not my problem. Okay, which one? You want that one? Thanks. Take care.
might be able to get our hands on some decent stuff if this store really has model guns. Well, we can leave that for tomorrow. Let's go home. Okay. Everyone, wake up! This country is twisted. While Japanese society may appear to be thriving, many young people have not been as blessed as their elders. They have no jobs, no savings, no financial security whatsoever. These young people should be tackling their futures head on, but instead, they're too busy merely trying to survive. People give speeches all the time. Plus, politics are pretty boring anyways. The shop can be pretty confusing to find sometimes. Before we head in, you know anything about guns and shit? Nah, I guess we can just ask the guy behind the counter if we can't figure out what we... <laughs> you looking for recommendations? I don't know, just buy whatever looks interesting to you. Ugh, some customer service. Fine, what do you want? An automatic? A revolver? Uh, automatic? Dude, why are you talking about cars now? Listen, this here's an enthusiast shop. My regulars will be mad if I let a casual like you hang around. I'm not a freaking casual. I bought shit from here like last week. Ah, can't remember you. You bastard. And you, looking for something? Oh, you a collector? <laughs> You're way more interested than Blondie over there. Oh, shut it! Anyways, you should have said before you two are enthusiasts. I'm always up for helping fresh faces. Some precautions first, though. Don't go around pointing them at other people. Keep them in a bag or something if you're outside. Oh, and don't let the fuzz catch wind of you having them. I don't need them coming around here. Hmm. 
You damn well better be. Now, if you look close, you'll be able to tell these are models. Real guns feel... different. Maybe someday I'll show you the real good stuff, though. If you got the guts for it, of course. But for now, you get the beginner selection. Just sit tight. I'll bring them out. <laughs> we did it, dude. We totally gotta go for some fancy shit, right? Oh, I want him to shine. Oh, and here's the cash for mine. Pick me out something good. Uh, 
Come again. Hmm? Boss, did you hear? Apparently that subway driver from the accident was acting really odd during his testimony hearing. You talking about that psychotic whatever thing people are going on about? Yeah, I heard it completely alters your personality. The news is saying the driver couldn't even speak when they tried asking him questions. Only an idiot would believe a preposterous story like that. Oh, and sorry, but we're closing soon. <laughs> How rude. This must be why you don't get many customers. Your coffee's actually not half bad. The beans must be lamenting the sorry state of this store. Thanks for stopping in. Please come again. Hmm. I'm only trying to help you fix your business. Thanks for the coffee, at least. Jeez, what a... Oh, what do you want? If you're bored, go wash some dishes or something. Doesn't concern you. It's all good as long as the shop doesn't fail. I'm not gonna go wearing a fake smile. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up living out on the streets. As long as I'm here, the world leaves me be. No annoyances or troublesome people to deal with. It's like my own personal hideaway. I'd be kind of screwed if I lost it. But I guess you would be too. So you better at least try and be useful around here. Anyway, I'm leaving now. Don't cause any trouble. Just about ready to go to the palace. We just need to assemble some infiltration tools. Clean off that desk back there so we can use it. Hey! That desk! Hurry now and... Great. Now you can make things whenever you want. provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? Great! We should be able to use this. Yeah. We should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> 